Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Good night. Good night. Good night, everyone. Good night. Thank you. Glory be to God, Facebook world, for joining us tonight. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Bless the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. You, glory be to God, Facebook world, for joining us tonight. Hallelujah. Thank you. Hallelujah. Bless the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. Glory be to God. So we thank you all on Facebook to join us again one more time, another week. Hallelujah. Glory be to God to be in the house of the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Tonight, our topic is be not forgetful to entertain strangers. Amen. Be not forgetful to entertain strangers. Glory be to God. This is the kingdom mandate of Jesus Christ's ministry, the house where God lives. And I'm Minister Sophia Donaldson. Glory be to God. And I welcome you here tonight, another time to be in the house of the Lord. Glory be to God. Let us get into this word and we can worship the Lord together. Amen. Glory be to God. We're going to find out, glory be to God, how entertaining strangers, glory be to God. <laughs> Hallelujah. Glory be to God. If we're going to find out tonight when we entertain strangers, how things can happen for us, how things, doors can be open for us. Amen. Glory be to God. Sister Petrina says, good night, everyone. Glad to have you in. Mommy Dolores, you are truly missed. Amen. Glory be to God. Mommy Dolores, mother of the house. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. And so we're going to find out tonight. Amen. How it is when we entertain strangers, we entertain angels unaware. Amen. We do not understand when we do some things in our lives. Amen. But we are entertaining angels. And when we do entertain these angels, we will also have difficult situations that we need attention to. But because of us doing what we are doing wholeheartedly for another person, God will work out our situation. And so I'm going to show it to you recorded in the scriptures hallelujah where the entertaining of angels has opened the womb um uh, 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 of two women in the bible and also deliver a family out of um a, 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 um a, a city that was being ready to be condemned amen glory be to god and i'm certainly by sharing this word hallelujah you will find that you too can also look in your life where you have entertained angels and it has opened door for us amen so for this word to be coming wrong again that simple means that god revealed in order to redeem amen there is something that god needs to do in someone's life so i'm going to ask you all to share this live share the broadcast share so others can also be blessed amen glory be to god invite a friend hallelujah and tell a friend to tell another friend hallelujah that there is going to be um something that is going to be proven that when we entertain angels on an aware hallelujah how the doors can be open for us amen glory be to god and so therefore we're going to take an illustration from um, genesis 18 glory be to god from 1 to 16 hallelujah and so we'll up into um genesis 19 as well hallelujah as well as go into um second kings verse um chapter four amen glory be to god we're gonna be there but we're gonna exercise and show you when you entertain and god make a covenant with you hallelujah how the covenant is for everlasting amen glory be to god it simple means that he will be there with you you are in covenant with god amen so therefore i'm telling Telling your saints of God, do not have a covenant with man, but have a covenant with God. Amen. Make sure that you have a covenant with God Almighty, the mighty one, the creator of heaven and earth, Jesus Christ himself. Amen. Glory be to God, because it's the only name that you can be saved. Man will reject you. Man will entertain you for a moment, but reject you after a time. But when you entertain the Holy Spirit, glory be to God and have a covenant with the Holy Spirit, then your life cannot remain the same. Amen. Your life will never remain the same. There must be a change in your life. So I'm applauding you people to entertain the Holy Spirit. Amen. Make sure you entertain the Holy Spirit around you in your life, in your situation, in whatever it is that you are doing. Because Jesus said when he was going up, 
that he will send forth a comforter, which is the Holy Spirit. And so therefore you must entertain the Holy Spirit in order for you to have a breakthrough, in order for you to have a turnaround. Amen. Man will fear you. He says, um, and there, they, they, um, um, oh, glory be to God. I can't remember right now. There's a scripture that tells you that not to trust. And the arms of, um, the, it's not a scripture. It's just a saying. I grow up to hear this saying. The arms of flesh will fail you. You dare not trust your own. Amen. Glory be to God. And so therefore, it tells you that man will fail you. Man will disappoint you. But the Holy Spirit, the Holy Ghost, he lives forever and forever. It is for eternal. Amen. Glory be to God. So I'm telling you, saints, that you must entertain the Holy Spirit in your life, in everything that you do. And I'm telling you, if you're going in an opposite direction, he will redirect you back to the right path. Amen. So I'm telling you now, be not forgetful to entertain strangers. Amen. That is a law. It is a law that you are to do in order for you to get your breakthrough. I'm going to ask you all a question. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. If for this moment, this moment, this present moment that you are here, if you are to see the face of God, would you be able to recognize him? Do you know what he looks like? Hallelujah. Do you know what the, the messengers is angels look like you don't know hallelujah so you cannot walk around with a sour face amen you cannot walk around like you're an island hallelujah you cannot walk alone that you are the only person individual that has um that are in this world glory be to god you have to learn to uh, entertain strangers to be amicable one with another amen have a brotherly a brotherly love amen Glory be to God. And so therefore, we're starting with um, Genesis 18, 1 to, um, 1 to 16. And it says, and the Lord appeared unto him in the plains of Mamir, and he sat in the tent in the heat of the day. We are in the heat moment right now. We are going through a season of heat. Glory be to God. And the spirit of God is visiting us today. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. The spirit of God is visiting us right this moment. We are going through that heat moment. We are sitting in our tents. Glory be to God. But we are hearing the word of God. Glory be to God. And he lifted up his eyes and looked, and lo, three men stood by him. And when he saw them, he ran to meet them from the tent door and bowed himself towards the ground. Glory be to God. We are talking about Abraham. Hallelujah. Abraham was the one sitting in his tent. Glory be to God. He was the one that was sitting in the position, hallelujah, when he was visited by these three angels, these three people. Glory be to God. The spirit of God did came in and two angels and they came, hallelujah, to visit him. Hallelujah. The Lord appeared unto him. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. I want you to understand when God is ready to do something, some serious stuff when he is when he decide and he ready to turn upon you glory be to god there's absolutely nothing that you can do glory be to god but to give him praise hallelujah glory be to god god has a time when he will just turn up on you hallelujah glory be to god and i'm telling you saints of god when he does this hallelujah thank you jesus when he does this hallelujah know that it is a time for a change it is a time to for a change. He will make a covenant with you, maybe through dreams or vision, but when he comes up and he turns up at you, that is the time, the moment of your breakthrough, the moment of your change, the moment of your turnaround. And we're going to go through the scripture here so that we can understand that there is about to be a change because why? There is a divine visitation. Hallelujah. There is a visitation. So the covenant that was made, hallelujah, from some time, this is the moment when it's going to go into action. Why? Because Jesus is on the scene. Amen. Glory be to God. The Lord himself has visited the scene and there definitely will be a change. 
Glory be to God. There will be a change. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. This is how the Lord will do his thing. When he is ready to do whatever he chose to do, hallelujah, he make a decree and then he pops in on you. Glory be to God. And he says, it's the time. It's the time. It's the time for the season, the season that I have promised you, the moment that I have decided that I want to do something for you. It is time for it to come. The time is now. Amen. Glory be to God. The time is now. Hallelujah. When God want to do something new in your life, he will just pop up and tell you the time is now. And it says in um first um Genesis 13 verse, and it says, and Lot lifted up his eyes and beheld all the plain of Jordan and it was all watered everywhere before the Lord destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah, even as the garden of the Lord, the like the land of Egypt and as thou comest into Zohar. Hallelujah, glory be to God. It tells you that was a covenant. Hallelujah, that was a covenant. Hallelujah. And so therefore, because of the, the covenant that was created, that was made, hallelujah, that is the place that Lot ended up after leaving um, Sodom. Hallelujah, Sodom and Gomorrah. He ended up in Zohar. Hallelujah, glory be to God. But I want to continue here with Abraham first. Let's leave with Abraham. Hallelujah. And his verse three says, and, and said, my Lord, if now I have I found favor in thy sight, pass not away, I pray thee, from thy servant. Uh, let a little water, I pray you, be fetched and wash your feet and rest yourself under the tree glory be to god and i will fetch a morsels of bread and comfort ye your heart after that ye shall pass on for therefore are ye come to your servant and they said so do and thou said said uh, i said and abraham hastened into the tent unto sarah and said make ready quickly three measures of fine meal need it and make cake upon the herd hallelujah glory be to god so abraham decided to do something new that day he decided to entertain these three men entertain the lord with his angels he did not want them to just continue to go on their way with not stopping in hallelujah he wants them to check in oh glory be to god let me allow me to prepare something for you let me uh prepare something for you to eat and you can rest and wash your feet glory be to god hallelujah thank you jesus abraham was a entertaining the lord you know in the scripture it tells you where the woman she used her tears to wash the feet of jesus and her hair to dry well abraham was giving him rest and telling him let me wash your feet it is a custom to entertain your angels you entertain them in a way that you would want to be entertained you are weight upon hands and feet amen glory be to god and so therefore abraham offered this service but he did not keep the service unto himself. He invited his wife Sarah into it and he asked her to prepare this thing. Remember, Abraham was able to call his servants, but he did not allow them to use the servants that they had. But they themselves prepare this food themselves. Amen. And so, therefore, with the tag team of a husband and wife doing something together, the blessings that will come shall surely become one. It shall um, be in co coincidence with both of them. Hallelujah, where they, it comes as one. Hallelujah. And so this is um, the, the, the prophecy that goes for that Sarah will be the mother of the nations and Abraham will be the fathers of all nations. Hallelujah. And so therefore, in order for this to happen, Sarah wanted to have a child. Her, her, her womb did not bless a, with a child yet. Glory be to God. So she was right now readily living a life where she's comfortable glory be to god she was ready prepared that you know what it's never gonna happen hallelujah i've given up hallelujah i'm getting home
soul. It will never happen again. Glory be to God. I am contented. Hallelujah. Glory be to God with my, my husband and the life that we are living. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. And it says in verse 7, and Abraham ran unto the herd and fetched a calf tender and good and say, and gave it unto a young man and, and haste to dress it. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. He gave this young man the butcher this thing to dress up this calf amen a young soft tender calf glory be to god and he took butter and milk and the calf which he had dressed and set it before them and he stood by them under the tree and they did eat glory be to god so that means he watch over them he makes sure that they were sufficed with everything that they needed he makes certain that everything was given unto them glory be to god and so therefore um a abraham weighed upon these servants hands and feet glory be to god to make sure that they they were full to make sure that they were looked after hallelujah and he says and they said unto him where is sarah thy wife and and he says, behold, in the tent, hallelujah, glory be to God. He says, behold, in the tent, hallelujah. So Sarah was in the tent, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory be to God. Sarah was in the tent, hallelujah. And so he said that she was in the tent and he says, and he said, I will surely return unto thee according to the time of life. Lo, Sarah, thy wife shall have a son. And Sarah heard it in the tent which was behind him. Glory be to God. Can you imagine in Genesis 24? Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. It says Genesis 24 and verse 67. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. When Abram was told that Sarah would have this child for him. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. And, and he had a good laugh. Hallelujah. It says he had a good laugh. Hallelujah. Glory be to God in 70, Genesis 17, 17. He fell upon his face and he had a good laugh. Hallelujah. But Genesis 24, 6 or 7 will point out that she did have that child. It was recorded. His name was Isaac. Glory be to God. And he says, and he said, verse 10, and he said, I will certainly return unto thee according to the time of life. And lo, Sarah, thy wife shall have a son. And Sarah heard it in the tent, which was behind him. Now, Abraham and Sarah were old and well stricken in age. And it ceased to be with Sarah after the many the manner of woman glory be to god that means they were not being intimate anymore there was no intimacy they were just being a living a contented life amen glory be to god they're looking at themselves you know what i'm old nothing is going on we have just left all the rest of our life to be contented and when the day we say goodbye we say goodbye glory be to god hallelujah and it says in genesis 17 17 when this was told unto abraham he fell upon his face and he laughed with, and said in his heart shall a child be born unto him that is an hundred years old and shall sarah that is 90 years old bear glory be to god can you imagine the uh, uh, he chuckled in his heart glory be to god i can't just understand how he chuckled within himself hallelujah for this miracle that he was hearing hallelujah and therefore it says in verse 12 that therefore sarah laughed within herself hallelujah when you marry to your to your right person hallelujah you can share that joy within yourself you can laugh at the very same joke you know the joke that your partner will laugh at because you're now become so one you're so one with each other. You understand each other to understand what will cause each other to laugh. Hallelujah. He says, therefore, Sarah laughed within herself, saying, after I am wax old, shall I have pleasure? My Lord being old also. Glory be to God. They were thinking it was done. They did not, was not, and never was thinking that these things shall ever happen. Hallelujah. They have put up that thing. Hallelujah. They were just enjoying each other's company. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. And it says, and the Lord says unto Abraham, wherefore did Sarah laugh, saying, shall I often surely bear a child which I'm hold? Hallelujah. Glory be to God. He says, where, why did Sarah laugh? In, in, is anything too hard for the Lord? At the time appointed, I will return unto thee 
according to the time of life and Sarah shall have a son. Glory be to God. In Genesis 17, 10, 10, it tells you that this was a covenant that the Lord has made with Abraham. And so therefore, this is a time when this covenant shall come to pass. Hallelujah. This was spoken from some time back, but this is a time when it shall come into fulfillment. And it says in 17, 10, this is my covenant, which ye shall speak keep between me and you and thy seeds after thee. Every man child among you shall be circumcised. Amen. And so therefore at that moment, glory be to God, when that, that um, this is a time when this covenant shall come to pass. This is a time when this covenant shall come into fulfillment. This is a season when the covenant shall pull through that shall come together where it shall, the miracle is about to happen, amen? And so therefore the miracle was ready to move, get into place. This, this is a time and the season for the move of the miracle, the things that seems difficult, amen? The, sin, the things that seems like it will never happen happen the things that you thought it will never come to pass this is the season and the time where god is going to show up in your situation whatever difficult circumstances that you are facing that seems to be on uh, me so long hallelujah it seems to uh, take a lifetime hallelujah it seems like nothing's going to happen it seems like there is not going to be no change it seems like this child will never come hallelujah it seems like this breakthrough will never come the open doors will never happen but i'm telling you this is the season and the time that god is ready to visit your situation this is the season for the doors to be open hallelujah glory be to god hallelujah that barren spirit that is bounding you hands and feet letting you think that you will go back to your maker when nothing's gonna happen there's not gonna be a change and then you will not be able to leave a seed in the ground. The devil is a liar. Glory be to God. The change is coming and your season is now. Amen. It is a time for the difficult situation to come to life. This is a breakthrough season. The time to overcome. Hallelujah. This is a time when you will be able to bring forth your seed and it shall be a witness in this earth. Amen. It is a time for your marriage. You have been waiting for so long to be married. Glory be to God. And it seems like this husband will not come, but I'm telling you, it is a season and the time for the breakthrough, the season and the time for the open door, the season and the time for the manifestation of the glory of God. And the time is here. The time is now. You are so much wishing in your heart to buy that home, that property. But God says it's the season and the time when you shall hold your keys hallelujah glory be to god it is the season and the time when you will open your doors when you don't have to say nothing to no landlord you give no account to no landlord because now you are your own landlord glory be to god hallelujah thank you jesus this is the season and the time for your breakthrough for your turnaround mighty god you will not remain the same way you will be an over Karma, my God of Daniel, this is the season when you'll no more have to walk and look back. My God, you will no longer be in fear because you will get your status. My God Almighty, the keys to your status shall come forth. And it doesn't matter what the enemy says. It doesn't matter what the stumble block, this blessing that is coming unto you this season. There is absolutely nothing can stop it. No doubt can stop it. No delay can stop it. You are in the season when you shall overcome and have everything that you desire of the Lord. Amen. Anything that you are seeking the Lord for and it seems like it's not coming forth. You are in your season where it shall come to pass. Amen. Glory be to God. And she says that Sarah denied saying that I laughed not for she was afraid. And he says, nay, 
Uh, but thou didst laugh. Hallelujah, glory be to God. I want you to understand. Hallelujah, glory be to God. When the covenant was created, when the covenant was made, it was the very thing that happened in 2 Kings 4, 16, verse 17. Hallelujah, glory be to God. 16 and 17 in 2 Kings 4. When the covenant was made with the Shunammite woman, hallelujah, glory be to God, the, the prophet Elisha was going about his business hallelujah and she recognized that he come into town at a regular time and so therefore she went to her husband this time the, the, the shoe turned around on the other foot hallelujah and so she was the one that went to her husband and said let us build a house a room for him hallelujah and so she they, they did they built the room they put the table the bed the candle stand everything in there to make sure that he was okay and they would wait on him hand and feet glory be to god and so when they called her and asked her what is it that she desire of them hallelujah she did not think that she need anything glory be to god but Ahaziah was there and he said unto the king that she is waiting uh, expectation for a son she rejected she said nay hallelujah don't play with me i don't need this thing don't give me distress hallelujah don't tell me what you can't um you can't fulfill don't give me a promise that you can't fulfill Fulfill, but glory be to God, it was there in verse 17. And the woman conceived and bare a son at the season that Elijah had said unto her, according to the time of life. Glory be to God. Why she got that breakthrough? Why? Because she saw the need of a prophet. Glory be to God, Almighty God. I'm hearing this. Glory be to God. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. If there is anyone among us, and you heard as a true man of God coming your way, coming into your town, coming into the place where you are located. And you know that this man is a true man of God, a prophet of God, the voice of God, the mouthpiece of God. If you entertain this man well, look after him well. Oh, glory be to God. Wait on him as and feet. Almighty God. Hallelujah. I'm just going to say it as I hear it. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. The Lord says, notice that those that wait upon him hands and feet, they were all married people. Glory be to God. They were married. There was no concubine. So if you know that you're a single woman, do not allow the man to come to your house and if you are a single man glory be to God do not allow the prophetess to come to your house hallelujah all by yourself glory be to God I'm just saying it I'm, I, don't shoot the messenger I'm just saying as I hear it glory be to God hallelujah it says notice that these two people were all married people and the womb that was shut up has been opened after they entertained this man of God. Amen. These angels, glory be to God. So when you're doing the entertain, make sure that you are covered, you are protected, you're not alone. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. We're not telling you to get yourself into any difficult position and any uncompromised position. Glory be to God. I am telling you, hallelujah, to protect your, 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 your faith. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Protect your righteousness, your right standing. Glory be to God. Do not fall for anything. Glory be to God. Thank you, Jesus. I'm just saying as I hear the Holy Spirit say it. Glory be to God. So in order for them to get their breakthrough, this couple, this this husband and wife come together and they bless this man of God. They bless and they entertain the angels. Glory be to God. I want you also to understand in Genesis 19, glory be to God, that um, Lot was the brother of Abraham and he was in the in, in the in the city of Sodom and Gomorrah. Glory be to God. And though there were these angels, they came and they visit um. Abraham, they were on their way to Sodom and Gomorrah. Glory be to God. But I want you to understand that Abraham contended with the Lord on behalf of his brother. Amen. He contended with um with with with, with the Lord on, on behalf of his brother in order to save his brother. Because why? It was their intention to go and to and to and to um 
to destroy Sodom and Gomorrah because of what was happening there. Glory be to God. But I want you also to understand how Lot himself also, that he went and he also entertained these men, these angels, when he saw them, came into um, in, in, in Sodom and Gomorrah. Hallelujah. He could identify them. Lot was doing just the very same thing that Abraham did. He actually went in and he asked them, glory be to God, to come in. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He asks them and he pressed upon them. Hallelujah. He says unto them, let's take it from one. And there, and there came two angels of Sodom at even. And Lord sat at the gate of Sodom. Abraham was sitting at the, the gate of the, 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 at the gate of the tent. Lot was sitting at the gate of Sodom. And Lot seeing them rose up to meet them. And he bowed himself with his face toward the ground. The very same action. Hallelujah. That means it is their customized to do that. It is in them. Hallelujah. When they entertain the presence and the people of God, when entertaining strangers, they, uh, they bow. Hallelujah. And so they bow and they greet them. And it says, behold, now, my Lord, turn in, I pray you, into my servant's house and tarry all night and wash your feet and he shall rise up early and go on your ways and they say nay but we shall abide in the street all night they came for information hallelujah these two came for information they were the servants of god the angels of god that came for information so that they can do whatsoever it is to be done hallelujah and he pressed upon them greatly and they turned in unto him and entered into his house and he made them a feast and did break unleavened bread and they did eat he did the very same thing as his brother glory be to god but then disaster struck hallelujah these men men old men young boys everyone in that community in that city they came unto Lot house, hallelujah, wanting this two man fresh meat coming into town, hallelujah, they want to deal with them strenuously, hallelujah, glory be to God, they want to do all sorts with them, and even though Lot was giving them his two daughters who said he's never seen man, they did not want that, hallelujah, they want the boogering, hallelujah, they want to do something different. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. But thanks be to God when the spirit of God is in the midst of everything that there must be a change. These men want to sleep with these two angels. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. They were going on so badly that they actually almost pulled in. Hallelujah. Lot on the outside, but the angels pulled in and pulled Lot in. Glory be to God and struck them with blindness. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. He caused them, the, the, the angel caused blindness to be upon them on the outside. Hallelujah. Why? So that they will be uh, exhausted by the time they finish to find their own place. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. It goes to show you when you entertain strangers, there can be a change. This time it was for the deliverance of Lot and his family. Glory be to God. So you can entertain strangers unaware and there can be a change in your life. There can be a change in your ministry. There can be a change in your position because of gratefulness. Hallelujah. Because they are grateful of what you have done for them in return, a door can be opened for you. And I'm telling you, it is a, a royal law for you to entertain strangers unaware. Hallelujah, entertain strangers because you might be entertaining angels unaware, amen. Hallelujah, it is one of the laws that is given unto man. Hallelujah, to love your brothers and your sisters out to um, open doors for them. Hallelujah, do things, hallelujah for them with all your heart, not doing it for an intention. Don't go doing it because you know the position that the person is in. And then if you do this thing, then they will do this thing for you. Hallelujah. No. Hallelujah. Do it with your heart. Do it because you have a good intention, a good mind. Amen. Glory be to God. 
Do it because you want to make a change happen in the person's life, not because you expect something in return. Glory be to God. And you find this is what is happening right now. Many times you will ask somebody to do something for you. And rather than they do it for you, they're telling you, oh, sow this seed. Hallelujah. Part with this amount of money. You're still trapped in your situation, trying to find a way out. Hallelujah. But they're telling you to plant this seed. Do this. Hallelujah. Give, your, give it all hallelujah and god will do this on your behalf no hallelujah glory be to god i did not read here where the scripture tells you that they are to come out of pocket hallelujah and to come out of their way they share with what they have they share with what they have they didn't go out of their means they share with what they have they give what they have hallelujah Glory be to God. They give what they have. And so when you do these things and give what you have, glory be to God, you can open up doors for others. I'm certain if you check your life, you will be able to see in your life where you have experienced things. You would have seen where they have experienced things in your life when you did something for someone that you don't even know. Some situation that you are facing out of the blues just come out and happen for you. And you said, my God, God is so good. God is so good. You don't even understand that is the very thing that you do for somebody else. When you make something happen for somebody else, God will make something happen for you. Glory be to God. And that's how it is. Hallelujah. That's how it is. Hallelujah. When you um, be your brother keeper, when you look out for your brothers, do things for them that you, oh, glory be to God, did not expect that it will make a change in their life. When you can do that for somebody else, hallelujah, glory be to God. God will make something happen for you. Glory be to God. There's many things that God want to bless us with. But he wants to see our reaction, how we will deal with situation, how we will deal with others. Glory be to God. When others are looking unto us, hallelujah, he's expected. They're looking unto us with expectation for see, to see what we are about to do in the life of somebody else and how we will treat others. Sometimes your blessing is in, in, involved in how you will treat another person. Glory be to God. Your blessings is involved in how you treat another person, how you, how, how you reach out to another person. That's where your blessing is tied up. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Your blessing is tied up in you looking after blessing somebody else, opening doors for somebody else, forgetting your situation and doing it for someone else. Hallelujah. If you know that your faith is stronger than somebody else, you can do something to make things happen for them because you have enough faith to trust God that you can make it happen for you. It can, will happen again. And so therefore you put yourself aside and you open the doors for others to come in. God wants to bless you, but how are you willing to treat your brother or your sister? Glory be to God. When you can do that for another person, glory be to God. Know that God will do it also for you. Amen. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. At this point, I'm just going to open the floor. Hallelujah. For anyone, if you would like to share a word. Hallelujah. If you want to share a testimony, please come forward. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Bless the name of the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Bless the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. No one would like to share. Okay, we will just continue. Bless the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. But I wanted to give someone else the opportunity. <laughs> but if no one would like to go, then I can share something quickly, if that's okay. Go ahead. Um, you know, I just wanted to say, I just want to thank God for all his blessings that he's done for myself and my children and my family. Mm -hmm. And you pray for our children weekly. And sometimes, you know, they're not the perfect, but sometimes they do amaze me. Sometimes they really, really, you know, get on that last nerve that you have. But there are days where you just look at them and I'm like, 
thank you, Lord, for giving me such two lovely children. And my testimony is, I want to thank everyone when we pray for our children, for everyone that partakes in the prayer, because God is truly answering our prayer. My son um, decided to, his career pathways that he wants to, to join the army. And um, he had to go for his bleep test on Monday. And because we're traveling, they had to give us a quick appointment. And it so happened that we had to go all the way to Litchfield. And we've never been to Litchfield, but to get to Litchfield from London, we had to go from London, from Walthamstow to London, Houston, from Houston to Birmingham, from Birmingham, we had to get another train to Litchfield. And he had to meet the coach at Litchfield at 10 o'clock. So we had to leave here at six o'clock. So when I went to pick up his ticket, because they pay for his ticket. So we went to pick up his ticket and the man was like, oh my God, the army spent 200 pounds on his ticket. And I'm like, I don't have 200 pounds to spend on a ticket. And I can't allow my 16 year old boy to travel so far on his own. Anyway, the man gave me a ticket and he said, I can do this. I find a cheaper ticket for you at, um, for 20 pounds. And I was like, thank you, God. So I got the ticket, but lobby, I don't know. Usually I read everything and I didn't read anything. He just put my son's ticket and my ticket in the, in the card reader. Anyway, long and end of the short of the story. We left home at six o'clock because we had to get the underground to get to Houston running we saw that i said son we have to get either the 650 643 train or the 659 train if that train leaves us we're going to be late we end up got the 659 train and whilst we were on the train um i never read the ticket all i knew is i used my bank card to get to houston and i just went and sat down there was no ticket inspector i just went on the train because all in my head i know i had to reach a destination for 10 o'clock because i couldn't allow when the coach come to pick them up because it was more than one set of students going for the assessment and I said we were on the train and I'm sitting down and when the train got to Watford before it got to Watford the ticket inspector come on and I was on an Avanti coast and my ticket was for a West Midlands train and the ticket inspector says I have to get off at Watford because I'm on the wrong train and then I have to get a connecting train and I was like Jesus really and I was like but my son have a ticket and he has to go somewhere and the man was like nope you have to get off and people I was like I sat down in the seat and he continued to check the other passengers ticket and I was like Lord if I come off this train I might miss a connecting the connecting train to get me to Litchfield for 10 o'clock what do I do and when the train pulled in at Watford because we were just like minutes away from Watford and I sat there and people, sometimes we must listen to our children because sometimes there's the Bible says our children shall lead the way. And my son says, mom, are you not getting off? And all in my head was, I just want to sit down on this train. I know that it's wrong. And the man said, I must get off at Watford and I don't want to miss the 10 o'clock appointment. And if I get off, I don't know what's going to happen. And my son says, mom, you know, we have to follow the rules because he's going to come back and then he might charge you the 90 pounds because he said to me, it's 90 pounds from Houston to Birmingham. I'm like, really, I'm going to have to spend 90 pounds that I really don't have and I really don't want to spend. And anyway, I said, you know what? You're right. Let's go. And as we proceeded to get off the train, it was the same ticket man speaking to the, um, to the persons on the platform, the attendants. And he said, ma'am, take a seat because there's issues at this station, at this train station with trains going to Watford. And I sat back down and I said, oh my God, thank you, Jesus. Because one, I listened to my son and two, the man saw that I wasn't being deceptive. And because I listened and I followed by faith and I got up, the man saw that there was honesty and he just told me he could have been a horrible person and let me get off that train and went into that chaos and my son would probably miss his appointment but because I listened and I walked and I said you know what there must be a reason why my son said that because he's not usually somebody who speaks and I said I'm going to listen to my son and because I listened and I followed the honesty God favored me and my son, and he made it to his appointment 15 minutes early and passed. He was supposed to get on his bleep test level 6.6. And God blessed him that he got up to level 10. Mm -hmm. and 
And I was like, thank you, Jesus. And because he got to level 10, his choice of careers was so, he could pick through anything in that career. And I'm saying people, sometimes it might seem as if the little things, but just a little bit of honesty, a little bit of faith and listen to our children sometimes because sometimes the children really do lead us into the way that we're supposed to go. So I just want to tell you guys, thanks for your prayers. And I'm telling God, thanks that he, my son is not in prison. He's not in the cemetery and that, you know, yeah. be the best, the best academically, but he's going down somewhere that can give him some level of academics, some level of career. So keep praying for our children that they will turn out to be something and that they will not turn down the wrong road. Thank you guys for your prayer. And I will continue praying Amen. for you as well in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Anyone else would like to testify? Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory be to God. I'm telling you, when God will break things out for us, amen. Glory be to God. God can fix some situation that we seem to find difficult. Hallelujah. Some things that we find to be outrageous. God will be able to fix it. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. If we know to trust him, if we know to depend upon him, if we know to, to, to just put everything in his care, glory be to God, he will be able to fix everything for us. Hallelujah. But we must have faith even as small as a mustard seed. Hallelujah. When you have that faith as small as a mustard seed, God will do a mighty miracle in your life. Amen. Glory be to God. Anyone would like to share another testimony? Glory be to God. Good night, people of God. Good night. Good night. How are you? Hallelujah. Hope all is well. Amen. Uh, over the weekend, I had the toothache like it was so bad. And I'm telling you, people of God, when I phoned the dentist on, on Monday, they said, oh, um, we only need the earliest appointment is um, August. And I'm like, August, I can't say that long. And I'm there saying, no way. And they're like, well, there's nothing else we can do is August. So I said, okay. Anyway, I was there. And then somebody has told me, say, phone the emergency, 111, I think it is. So I found them and they goes, oh, we'll get back to you. And I'm telling you, people of God, yesterday, they um get back to me um, straight away. And I went down to the dentist. But it's so weird that I'm feeling so much pain and they're telling me there's nothing wrong with my mouth. After the x-ray, they said there's nothing wrong. But then it's the dentist, I'm saying, but... I'm feeling pain and this can't be nothing, but um, they said my wisdom teeth is um, up and everything all right. And I don't usually have toothache. So when the man look, he said, look like there's a crack inside, but um, he's gonna try and fill it. And I just have to um, wait for a while, but I'm just giving God thanks that I could get to go and see a dentist before August. August, we have two teeth, you know, along that. <laughs> we have pain in our mouth. <laughs> so I'm just giving God thanks, say, what could I get for God? And, you know, he give me some things, but I'm just thanking the Lord that I'm able to just um, get to see the dentist before, like, August. And you know what? Like what Sister Sophie said, we just have to just, keep on giving the Lord glory and honor and praise because when it seemed to be no way, there is a way. Amen. Glory be to God. Amen. When we think, say, all hope is gone, there's always hope. Amen. You know, when we think, say, you know what? We can't do it. There's no strength left. God Amen. say, what are you talking about? Get up. Amen. Get up yeah. and move. When him say, when they, when people are say no, it cannot be done. When him say they, it can be done. Amen. There's not no name can. <laughs> Although we Jamaicans alone say can, <laughs> but 
I'm telling you, I'm just giving God thanks. Me there, I chat more now and I laugh. But as what I said, you know, God is just doing more and more each day for us. We might don't look on the big thing, them just look on the small little thing, them and it mount up to big testimonies and and big things. So it just it was them always say one one full basket, one cocoa full basket, mm -hmm. or something like that. But it's always to know that we dwell in the presence of the Lord. And you know what? There was something. I'm just waiting and I'll give a testimony. It happened to me last night, but I go all it until me get a further confirmation, then me give that testimony. But trust me, people of God, keep on trusting and believe in God. Amen. May I tell you, keep on trusting and put God in front of everything. Amen. Put God in front of everything. I'm telling you. I'm Amen. telling you, you have to have faith. I've been praying for two things. Yeah, my prayer for enough things, but anyway, my daughter tell me a, a test a something today. And I'm not gonna lie. Oh my God. It's like my um my daughter, I've been praying about it. That's another testimony from the one I'm holding back. I'll tell that another time. But my daughter and her partner was there all the time, and he, the partner was moving away and stuff like that. But when my daughter tell me today, say, yeah, he's considering to marry my daughter. Yo, tell me that today. Me, I said, geez, yo, God, who uh, but God, eh? Who uh, but God? You can't play with him, you know? Hallelujah. Hear me, I tell you, you cannot play with him. Amen. Because, may I tell you, say, it was out of nowhere. May I tell you, God, we make... God will put a smile on your face, trust Amen. me. But anyway, this is my testimony. Hallelujah. And blessings to everyone. Amen. Amen. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Congratulations, Sister Anna. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Anyone else like to share a testimony? Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Anyone else would like to share before we move on? Hallelujah. Bless the name of Jesus. Glory be to God. I'm telling you. Hallelujah. Go ahead, Sister Tara. Mm -hmm. ah, we can't hear you. Do you want to say something? Oh, yes, Sister Sophie. <laughs> Go ahead. Good evening, everyone online. You know, as the sister was sharing about her son, I just want to say that, I mean, these prayer for the children are working. Amen. He used to be like somebody as he come from school, he just eat and just go in his room and he stayed there. But now he's interacting. I mean, all his grade. Amen. His grade went up from three something to four point zero. His um, college exam that he did, he passed that. Yeah, he he's with his family, he's joking. I mean, he was so serious. Amen. These prayers are you. working for him. Is that where I want him to be? Amen. But, he's yeah. sitting there. He's laughing. He's playing with his sibling now. At one time, you couldn't get them now. It was like cat and what? Cat and dog. Glory be to God. But now you realize that the 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 behavior are changing. They are interacting with each other. I mean, you still have a little quarrel every now and then, mm -hmm. but. It's more civilized in the house. Amen. So just continue to keep doing the work that you're doing. You're Amen. making an impact. Amen. Glory be to I God. I appreciate you. Yes. Amen. If only God, if only God, you're doing a house awesome job and continue. Amen. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. To God. This thing soothes my heart, you know. <laughs> Hallelujah. Thank it's you. Speed. Jesus. It's speed. You know, we get the feeding, we get the word, and we get the prayer, yeah, and mm -hmm. the manifesting in our life. Because today I also got my daughter's report and I had to give her a 
big hug. She's just in year seven and I had to say, thank you, Jesus. The prayer, them are work. Hallelujah. Excellent, excellent, good, good, good. And she's just in year seven and I said to her, dad, we need to pay for private tuition for her to keep her excelling in what she's doing. So guys, we pray one for another week after week and God is hearing mm. her tell you how elated I am, how excited I am, even not for myself, Please, because my prayer every day was that God don't take me to our children, oh, not just my children, but everybody and our children shall bless, our children shall be successful, none of our children should, will, will never end up behind bars, will Amen. never be successful in what our careers they be and that's yeah. all of us on the zoom so let us continue pray for one another last week i come off the zoom and i said to sophie i loved how the unity on the zoom was everybody was praying and i loved it i enjoyed it i felt so refreshed so thank you guys for keep praying god bless our children in amen. jesus name. amen glory be to god oh amen. yes trust me because even girls I mean, I never have a problem with their grades before, but it's, it's, it's like going because yeah, they're man. pushing because the high school that they want to go, they have to have like an 100 up to 95 to go there and they're pushing themselves to reach that level just yeah. because they want to go. And the school recognize it and they're pushing them into different programs. Yeah. So the prayer that we're praying is not going in vain. Yeah. It's like impact on the kids. And I can see in their life. And Amen. it's just mind blowing. And to hear it. Amen. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Amen. Jesus. Sister Marie, you want to say something? Amen. Not tonight, doll. Not tonight, sister. Not tonight. <laughs> You're, you can say something. You're too shy. <laughs> Come on, be bold. <laughs> uh, let me just give it for her. Let me tell you something. Even her son, glory be to God, everything that he enter in, he comes out on top. Amen. Anything that is given to him to be done, he actually exceed and go on top. He's doing very well. He's performing. He's doing things that, you know, others would never think that he would do. But glory be to God. Jaden is doing very well. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Yes, he's doing exceedingly abundantly more than she can ever ask or think. Hallelujah. And I'm so happy, you know, I'm so happy that, you know, we are flourishing and we can see that we understand that glory be to God. But I love it when you testify, because when you testify, you, you know, you encourage another person's amen. You encourage others. Hallelujah. That breakthrough and deliverance is coming and they too can also experience it. And if we just have that faith and trust and believe, pray for our children. And I'm telling you, as you're all testifying about your children, I'm telling you, me too, I'm experiencing something new, something different with my daughter. But you, you know, you have a time when she go all shaky and, you know, sometimes you have to press on her a bit harder to get something from her. And, I, you know, I'm just... There is one particular thing that I absolutely need her to do. And sometimes, honestly, I feel like I want to give up, but I can't give up. You understand? I can't give up. I'll just pretend like I'm giving up. And when I do that, when I kind of shift and make she see me make a turn, you know, she always try to come back around. Hallelujah. Because she don't want to see me do that actual turn. Amen. But I don't want to use that to constantly threaten her for her to think that, you know what? You know, if you want to turn your turn, you understand we don't want to get them there. So as you know, when I press sometimes, Sister Petrina, we said, you know what, Sister Sophie, just hold it, hold it, you know, hold it, you know, you know, we're not going to get angry. We're not going to get upset. You understand? We're just going to continue because we know that the enemy, if the enemy is not fighting, hallelujah, if the enemy is not doing his job, then it, 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 there's nothing there. But we know that there is something there, you know. Sister Lisa always um, asks me, how is Precious doing? How is she doing? You know, and she always said to me, if I can change, Precious can change. I'm always praying for her. Keep praying for her. Keep praying for her because God is going to use her. And we all have seen it. Hallelujah. We have seen the depths of where God want to use Precious. She has the anointing on her life. She has a great calling on her life, a very huge calling on her life. It's not 
ordinary. Hallelujah. And we have seen it manifest times and times again. And the enemy is fighting her on that level. But you know what? We decided that it doesn't matter what. Hallelujah. We're going to hold the foot. And I'm telling you, last week, Thursday, when you see me looking all over there while I'm on the Zoom and you see me looking over there, it was precious in the room, getting herself prepared to go on the road. But when I couldn't get to ask her where she was going, the only thing I know how was when we get into prayer. I said, the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth upon our children right now. And we begin to pray and we prayed. And guess what? Wherever she was going to, she was not able to go because she did not have an ID. Glory be to God. The blood of Jesus canceled, block it up hallelujah so it's like you know we know that it is something that we have to constantly pray and we are human and sometimes we find that we can be tiresome but we're going to continue to pray amen we're going to continue to watch over our seed amen these are our seed hallelujah and so you know the word of God says your son shall bruise the head of the serpent hallelujah and so therefore we're going to watch over our seed that they will be able to come and accomplish that which God has called them for to do. Hallelujah. They will do the work that the Lord has called them to do. They, they, their purpose must come into fruition. Hallelujah. And so we have to pray for our children and to weed out some stuff that is around them. And we are going to continue to pray for they must fulfill their blessings and their callings on their life. Amen. And so we're going to continue to pray. We're going to continue to keep them in prayer because God is going to do awesome things with our children. Our children will not go down some of the roads that we went to. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. God is going to have to keep them. Hallelujah. Keep them in the palm of their hands. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. If no one else would like to share anything else. Hallelujah. Anyone like to share? So we are going to continue into prayer. Amen. Glory be to God. Let us um, sing our theme song. Thanks, thanks. We give you thanks. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Amen. Thanks, thanks. We give you thanks for all you have done. I am so blessed, yes, my soul is not blessed, oh, we give you thanks, thanks, we give you thanks, for all you have done, we are so blessed. Our souls is at rest. Oh, we give you thanks. Thanks. We give you thanks for all you have done. We are so blessed, yes. Our soul is at rest. Oh. We give you thanks. Oh, oh, oh. We, give we give you thanks. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. You are worthy to be praised. You are worthy to receive all honor and glory. 
Father, we magnify your name, Lord. We glorify your name, Jesus. We bless your name, God Almighty, for you are good and you are faithful. You are awesome in our situation, in our lives. And we give you thanks. We bless your mighty name. Oh, Father, God Almighty, great is thy faithfulness. Great is thy grace. Oh, God Almighty, Father, we thank you for your precious blood. We thank you for your love. We thank you, oh glory be to God, for great is thy faithfulness towards us, mighty God. Lord God, is nothing good that we have done, mighty God. We are absolutely nothing but we are dust. But because of your grace and your mercy, your everlasting love, oh God Almighty, your peace that surpasses all understanding. Father God, we just want to magnify your name. We just want to glorify you. We just want to lift you up on high. For you are worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We thank you, mighty God. Thank you for your presence, my Lord. Oh, we are grateful oh, to you. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. We just want to thank you. Hallelujah to you, my Lord. We just want to thank you. Abba Father, hallelujah to you, Abba Father, hallelujah to you, Jesus. We just want to say hallelujah to you, you um, holy angel of the living God. Thank, thank you, mighty God. Thank you for your divine protection. Thank you for your love. Glory, glory, thank glory, you for the glory, change in our lives. Thank glory, you, oh God Almighty Lord, for the manifold wisdom. My God, we give you all the glory and all the honor and all the praise. Blessed be to your holy name, Jesus. Hallelujah. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you. 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 Holy, holy Lord. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. We thank you. the Lamb of God. Hallelujah. Worthy, worthy you are, my Lord Jesus. Worthy, worthy you are, my Lord Jesus. Hey, God, you are worthy, Lord. We thank you, my Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. To you, Master Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank Amen. you, Lord. Hallelujah. Mm. Glory be to God. Let us pray. Glory be to God. Let us pray that we will be able to identify our angels. Oh, glory be to God. Let us pray that we are able to identify our angels or identify those that we are to be kind to. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Because, you know, sometimes we have, do have wolves in sheep clothing. Amen. Glory be to God. So glory be to God. We're going to pray that the Lord will give us a spirit of discernment to identify those that we are to be kind to. Amen. Glory be to God. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Lord God Almighty, we pray, oh God, that you will touch us, oh God. That Lord God Almighty will be able to identify our angels, mighty God, help us identify our angels, identify, oh God Almighty, those that we are to be kind to, Father God Almighty, give us the anointing of God, to identify those that are in need, those that need your divine help, those that need divine instruction, Father, help us to identify, oh God Almighty, Lord, those that were sent before us, Almighty God, let us not able, Father God Almighty, to miss out on our blessing. Oh God Almighty, to miss out on our opportunity. Oh God, to bless someone. And so, Father, we pray in the mighty name of Jesus. And Lord God, you will touch us. Father God Almighty, inspire us again. Father God, to bless each other, to be our brother's keeper. Father God, to be the true hope in the name of us so we know we can identify holy things that are doing oh God of us. Please help us. Help us so we can identify the angels. The seeds of the souls, the seeds. Mighty God of Daniel. Lord, we pray. Oh, Father God, we are grateful. We thank you, my Lord Jesus. Help us, help us, help us. Help us, my Lord Jesus. Oh, God Almighty, well with one another in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, let the 
blessings, oh God Almighty Lord, uh, uh, God, and the covenant that you have with Abraham. Let it be upon us, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. Let us too, Lord, experience the blessings of Abraham in the mighty name of Jesus, uh, because God Almighty, we are heirs of Abraham. And so, Lord, we pray, oh God, that the Abrahamic blessings to be upon our lives, upon our family, upon our children, oh God Almighty, in the mighty name of Jesus. And so, Father, Lord, we pray, oh God, that Lord Jesus, oh, we too also shall have that divine experience to be blessed and to be a blessing unto others in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, God Almighty, fix status, mighty God, in the right position where we can be a blessing unto others in the name of Jesus. Father, place us in the right direction that we can be the bridge for another to cross over. Father, God Almighty, put us in the right position that, Lord, we can be the handle of the door to open for another person in the name of Jesus. My God Almighty, place us in the right place at the right time to be a blessing unto others in the mighty name of Jesus. My God and my King Lord, Father God, usher us into the right place that we are to be God so that we can be a blessing unto others in the mighty name of Jesus. Father God Almighty, open up our eyes. Oh God Almighty, show us, oh God, that where we are to be, Father, that we can be a blessing unto others Hallelujah. in the mighty name of Jesus. That Father God Almighty, we will not be a fold hand, but God Almighty, our hands will be outstretched one to another in the mighty name of Jesus. My God and my King. Hallelujah. God. We pray, God, that we shall overflow, that we be able to bless others in the mighty name of Jesus, that we can be the answer to somebody else's cry in the mighty name of Jesus, that we not seek, oh God Almighty, only for ourselves, but God Almighty, Lord Jesus, our basket will be filled for others to also receive in the mighty name of Jesus. My God and my King, Lord God, we pray, oh God Almighty, that when our cup overflow, Lord, uh, that Father will be able to quench other's thirst uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, when the blessings of God, oh God, flow yeah. over upon us, uh, Father God, we are able to point uh, after somebody else to be blessed uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, my God and my King, Lord, uh, fill us up all day to God. Uh, uh, yeah, we yeah, 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 God yeah. Almighty, be O oh God Almighty, and outstretch hands to others in the name of Jesus. Uh, that we will be able to pull others up uh, in the yes, name of Lord. Jesus. Uh, yes, my yes, God yes. and my King Lord, uh, yes. that we will be patient with somebody else, uh, that yes. Lord will be able to lead someone yes. else, uh, that we may be able to open up doors to someone else, uh, that we can be able to have a word for someone else uh, in the mighty yes. name of Jesus, uh, that Lord, we can be able to pray for somebody else uh, in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, Father, God Almighty, fill us up. Uh, let there be an overflow uh, in the mighty yes. name of Jesus. Jesus, uh, oh Father God, even out of the little that we have, uh, that we might be a blessing unto others uh, in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, oh God, show us who to bless. Uh, my God Almighty, open up a door for us to be a blessing uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, my God Almighty, position us uh, that we can be a blessing unto others uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, my God Almighty, Lord, uh, let us be bold like a lion. Uh, Father God, to stand in the gap uh, for somebody else. In the name Hallelujah. of Jesus, my God Almighty, that we can believe, oh God, for somebody else in the mighty name of Jesus, my God, strengthen us, my God, that we can call out for someone else in the mighty name of Jesus, my God Almighty, Father God, too much, oh God, oh God Almighty, if we looking out for ourselves, but God, give us an eye that we can look for somebody else in the name Hallelujah. of Jesus. No longer we shall remain selfish, but God to look for others in the mm. mighty name of Jesus. That we yes, can fill our time unto others in the name of Jesus. My God and my King Lord, pour out upon us that we shall be a blessing unto others in the mighty name of Jesus.
Amen. Mighty God of Daniel, Lord God, we pray, God, uh, that Lord Jesus mm. for too long. Uh, Father God Almighty, we are looking at me, myself, and I. Uh, but Father God Almighty, for tonight, tonight, as of from tonight, uh, Lord, we pray, God Almighty, that we shall be our brother's keeper in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord God Almighty, we will look out uh, one for another in the mighty name of Jesus. My God, uh, we, we shall be I somebody know, as yeah. burden bearer. Uh, in the mighty name of Jesus, uh, because Lord God Almighty, your word has confirmed uh, that as we are looking out for others, uh, Father, you will be busy looking at us uh, in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, Father God, when we seek it out for others, uh, Father God, you will be busy sorting out ours uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, for when we are fixated oh. on another person, uh, Father God, to open the door for another person, to pray a prayer for another person, to intercede for another person. Person. Father God Almighty, while we are busy doing another person thing, uh, Lord God, you are busy looking after us uh, difficult situation uh, in Hallelujah, the name of Jesus. Jesus. Lord God Almighty, we pray, God, Clara, that you give us that we shall be uh, our brother's keeper uh, in the name of Jesus Mama Christ of Nazareth. Father God Almighty, Jesus. Lord, help us to raise up a voice uh, of oh, God for somebody else, for so somebody else my God, let us pray Jesus. for somebody else. Lord, let us seek the face of God for somebody else in the name of Jesus. Hey, God, that we can be our brother's keeper in the mighty name of Jesus. Help us to be a blessing unto others that, Lord God Almighty, you can use us to bless somebody else in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Glory be to God. Help us, oh God, so that we can pray for others. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Bless the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Let us pray for our children. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Let us pray for our children. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord God, we lift up our children before you, God. Lord, you said they are the signs that wonder. Father God, they are the future of tomorrow. Mighty God, they are, Lord God, a mighty Lord Jesus, the seed that you have given unto us. And Lord, you said they shall do in the mighty name of Jesus. You said, oh God, they shall Show your faith, Father God, upon their life, Father God. Take them out of the drug Take them out of the drug Take them out of the 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 of the Take them out 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 of the Take Thank you, Father God, all of Jesus in a grateful for you. Thank you for all of Jesus. Thank you for the blessing. Thank you for the blessing. Thank you for the for the college, the university, our life. children are going to Father God, to cover it, Father God, to cover it, of your Lord Jesus Christ, Father God, to cover the teachers, and teaching them, my Lord Jesus, cover they have made, yes, classmates, Father God, with the blood of Jesus, cover the class, the blood of Jesus, Father God, open their minds, Father God, so they can fit in the lead, what the teacher is teaching them, Father God, empower them, my Lord Jesus, 
upon you, Father. And to our children, to our children, help them to be the spirit of obedience. God, the head, the head, my Lord Jesus. They shall obey the word of the Lord. In the name of Jesus, for the blessing you give us, Father God, because they are blessed to our children, my Lord. Help us, parents, Father God. Help us to have patience for our children. Help us, Father God, minister to us, we parents, Father God. We have had a good given, my Lord Jesus. My Lord Jesus, even if we speak to them for them to know what we are doing, them is right. We want to lead them in the right place, Father God. Father God, help us, we parents, my Lord Jesus. Oh, Father God, we pray, God, that there will be no sickness. Or disease, Father God shall come oh, like our children yes. in the mighty name of Jesus. I wash our children in the blood of Jesus. Father God, give them good health, Father God. Father God, give us long life so we can see our children. And we thank you for you, my Lord Jesus. In the name of Jesus, my God and my King Lord, you shall yes, use Lord our Jesus. children to yes, do new Lord things. Jesus. They shall be all God Almighty Lord inventors, Jesus. mighty In God of Daniel. They shall Lord be Jesus. great white men, Jesus. wise yes, women, Lord. great businessmen. In the Amen. mighty name of Jesus, oh, yeah. women, oh God, entrepreneur, Amen. mighty God. In the name of Jesus, my yes. God and my King Lord, Lord. 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 they shall be excellent nurses and doctors and counselors. In the name of Jesus, my God, my King Christmas, my God, my King Jesus, my God, my King Jesus, my God, my King Jesus, my God, my God, my King Jesus, 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 my God, My God and my King Lord, we pray in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Be lifted higher above every circumstances. Hallelujah. And they shall not go down the wrong road that we went to. Father God, they shall not go in the same mistake that we've been. Father God Almighty, touch Jason, Javi, Devara, Orlando, Precious, Martina, Lord God Almighty, Jesus. Dishambra. Father God Almighty, Cassie, Martina, God Almighty, Abby, Lord God Almighty, Lord Jesus, Sally, Jacinta, 
do share. Oh God Almighty Lord Jesus. Brianna, oh glory be to God. My God Almighty Devante. Father God Almighty Shanna. Oh God Almighty Lord Jesus. Oh glory be to God Almighty Jaden. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. Every children. Oh glory be to God that is here underneath this ministry. Lord God Almighty, touch their children. Touch the children right now. In the mighty name of Jesus. Glory be to God. Jesus. 
Jesus. Touch our children again, Lord God. Touch our children, Lord God. Jesus. Glory to God. Amen. Higher. 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 That the enemy has placed upon our children. We worship with the blood of Jesus. We worship with the blood of Jesus. We worship with the blood of Jesus. We the blood of Jesus. We worship with the blood of Jesus. We worship with the blood of Jesus. We worship with the blood of Jesus. Jesus, we worship that we worship that we worship that we blood of Jesus. All of our life of our children in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Thank you, Lord. 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 Let our children's hearts, oh God Almighty, turn to their parents again. Let them be able to love upon their parents Jesus. again. Amen. Love upon their siblings again. Amen. Love upon the rules in the home again. In the name of Jesus. That they should work as a team. In the name of Jesus. My God and my King Lord, you have called my children to be Lord, the me and team. My whole soul will the Lord. Me and my and we Lord. shall work Lord. together. Jesus. And we shall multiply in the mighty name of, the the mighty Lord, name of Jesus Christ. Jesus. Amen. Amen. God Almighty, Amen. Lord, Amen. Change our children' mindset. Yes, Lord Jesus. Change their tempest. Hallelujah. Change yes, their heart. Yes. Change yes. their ways. Every yes. spirit of anger be removed of them now. Yes. In the mighty yes. name of yes. Jesus. Yes. Jesus. My God and my King, let them be loyal, God Almighty. Oh, God. Amen. Oh, Humble, 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 in the name of humbleness of God Almighty. Yes, Lord Jesus. Humbleness of the dove be upon our children now. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Oh, Father God, God saturate, God. Them. Amen. saturate them with your blood. Saturate them with your blood. Yes, Lord. It is well with our children. 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 Hallelujah, glory be to God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah, glory be to God. You have any waters around you? Hallelujah. Do you have any waters around you? Let us bless some water. Hallelujah, glory be to God. Let me get my bless some waters. Let me get water. Glory be to God. Let us bless some water. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, my Lord Jesus. Hallelujah, Father. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, glory be to God. In the mighty name of Jesus, glory be to God. Hallelujah. Have yes. your waters. Hallelujah. Yes. Glory be to God. Sophia, God bless you. Yes. Have your waters. Yes. yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. You have your waters. Amen. Yes, Glory be to God. Amen. Lift up your water. Put your hands on your water. Lift up your water. However you want to do it. To oil your water. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Lift up your water. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah. Thank you. Do you have your water? Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Do you have your water? Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Thank you, Jesus. Bless your name, Lord. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Lord, we lift up every water before you right now, the oil. We lift them up before you right now in the mighty name of Jesus. And Father, God Almighty, by your grace, by your power, turn that water into your blood right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Let the fire of the anointing of your Holy Ghost enter into that water right now God in the name of Jesus and anything that we use this water to do whether to be drink it to pour it upon our head Father God Almighty to clean our house to cook our food whatever it is that we use let the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth Hallelujah. enter into it right now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth Father God Almighty in the spirit in operation God Almighty that is in the place in the 
body. Father God Almighty, let the blood of Jesus drive it out right now in the name of Jesus. Any residue of sickness or disease in the body right now by the blood of Jesus and the fire of the Holy Ghost, we consume it right now in the name of Jesus. We move out every block our trace. We command it to be open. I blood pressure go down in the mighty name of Jesus. Be normalized. Jesus, we command you to flee right now. In the name of Jesus, any issue of the blood, we command this water to loosen, to chase it out. In the name of Jesus, and be normalized. In the name of Jesus, any cancerous spirit, any cancerous spell, any cancerous lump in the body, I command this water to melt it out now. I flush it out. In the name of spirit, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, any gas tuna, any bark, and almighty Lord Jesus, and almighty and kidney stone. In the name of Jesus, be melted and come out now. In the name of Jesus, I blood pressure normalize. In the name of Jesus, giant pain, I command you to lose and be removed now. Come out of this body. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Father God Almighty Lord, we pray, God, Lord Jesus, that Lord, you remove in this water. Let your healing virtue be in this water. In the name of Jesus, let your energy and your strength be in this water. In the name of Jesus, Father, this water, oh God Almighty, they shall be more powerful than any iron tablets. Ah, oh God, the iron level shall be rise. In the name of Jesus, oh God, the alkaline in the body shall rise. In the mighty name of Jesus, and drive out any sickness, any disease. In the name of Jesus, hey God Almighty, and for those of oh God Almighty that are looking unto you for fruit of the home, Father God Almighty, by drinking this water. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father God Almighty, we pray, God, uh, that their food, that their womb shall bear fruits. In the name of Jesus, Jesus in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, Father God, we pray that any husband should drink this water, shall remove their anger. Their anger shall be flushed out. They shall peel out their anger. The anger spirit in the husband shall be flown out. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Father God Almighty, by the power of God Almighty and the light of God, we pray, God, that this water, God, shall flush out the body. In the name of Jesus, any carnality, any sickness, any disease, oh God Almighty, to be removed right now. Be removed. Be removed. Be removed. And be cast into the sea of forgetfulness. Know, in the Jesus. name of Jesus. Be removed. And be cast into the lake of fire. In the name of I Jesus. Know. Healing shall come forth in every area of our lives. Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Every pain in the joints. Go. Every pain in the joints. Go. Every pain in the joints. Go. In the name I of know. Jesus. Ah, oh, God Almighty, sciatica. In the body, in the bone. Ah, oh, God Almighty, I command you to go now. Go, go, go. Go in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. Hey, Father, God Almighty, Lord. Move upon this water and breathe afresh. Breathe the breath of life. In it right now, hold your people, Lord God Almighty, and renew them afresh. Yes, Lord, Lord, we tell you thanks in Jesus' Thank mighty name. Jesus. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Glory be to God in the name of Jesus. Let us pray for our marriage. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Let us pray for our marriage. For those that are in waiting, pray for your husband to come. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, for every marriage couple that is right here tonight, Lord God, we pray that the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, shall be in their marriage. Be in their husband, Father, and touch him from the throne of the head unto the sole of the feet, baptize him with your precious son, mighty God, we pray, God, in the mighty name of Jesus, that Lord God Almighty, that you shall do and you shall miracle in the life of their husband, that the husband will understand that they are the head of their home, in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, I pray, God, that the peace of God and light pass in all understanding shall be upon them, in the mighty name of Jesus, that they can make wise I was my marriage with the blood of Jesus. In, their home. Home. in the mighty name of Jesus, Father, we pray that this husband shall love their wives and do Christ Jesus love the church. In the mighty name of Jesus, and so Father God Almighty, that they will do what they will do. In the mighty name of Jesus, that they will do great mighty things in their lives, that their wife and their wife will honor them. And God Almighty, and God submit unto them. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father God Almighty, in the mighty name of Jesus, Father God, we pray God that Lord God Almighty, the peace of God shall be in their home. 
that they are the old chaps here amicable Lord, in the Ghana Mighty area. Father, God Almighty, we are the Lord communicating Jesus, well the in the Lord. mighty name of Jesus. And that, that the husband, oh God Almighty, will find his rightful position, oh God Almighty, to be, Lord God Almighty, Lord Jesus, the one to guide and protect the home. And Lord God Almighty, to provide for the home in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, oh God, that they will be able, Lord God Almighty, to work. Let my will be me and my husband. Take let it be a heaven of Father, Lord, we pray for divine grace. Breakthrough for the husband that they can find the in the name of Jesus, that there will be the financial of the home of their children, their family, in the name of Jesus. Father, God Almighty, Lord, I pray God that you will turn the heart of the husband to their wives in the mighty name of Jesus, and they will look not to another, but continue to look unto the wives that you got up in the world, that they shall be faithful, that they shall be true, that they shall be loved. Oh God, God, I make you willing, oh God, to lead up their lives for their wives in the mighty name of Jesus. And Father God Almighty, for those that are in waiting, Lord, pray God Almighty that you will send for their husbands, send for their helpmates, send for the one of God Almighty and the river that you have created for them, Father. Lord, I pray in the mighty name of Jesus that, Father, you will show them him and show him her in the mighty name of Jesus that they shall be connected. Oh God Almighty, and come together and live in unity and love in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah, glory be to God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, glory be to God. Hallelujah, let us pray. Hallelujah for those that are in need of the, 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 the visa. Hallelujah, glory be to God. Those yeah. that are in waiting for those of their visa. And I want for you guys who already have your visa, pray for them that they get theirs. For yeah. others to get theirs, open up your mic, unmute yourself and pray for your brother, your sister. Glory oh, be to God. Man. Father, in the mighty yes, name of Jesus Christ, open up the doors for all of the the <laughs> Lord Right now,
the indefinite. They shall Jesus. receive the indefinite, the indefinite yes. from the court. In the mighty name yes. of Jesus, we Jesus. call for indefinite from the north, indefinite from the south, indefinite from the east, indefinite from the west. In the mighty name of Jesus, indefinite come forth now. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. It doesn't matter what error or doubts that we have. We call for the indefinite leave to remain. And it's all for with signs and wonder in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We shall have what he says we shall have in the mighty name of Jesus. In the land of the living, we shall have what the Lord says we shall have in the mighty name of Jesus. And nothing by no means will it back or turn it back Jesus. in the name of Jesus. But we shall possess every good thing yes. that we have in store for us. Amen. We shall yeah. partake of it yeah. oh. in the mighty name of Jesus Amen. Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, glory be to God. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah, Jesus. thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Amen. Jesus. Hallelujah, thank, thank you, Lord. Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Jesus. Hallelujah, glory Lord be to Jesus. God. Let us pray for our pastors. And, our, uh, and those that are in in charge in the, the leaders, hallelujah. Let us pray for our pastors, those that are in charge of us, and, our, and, 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 and the leaders of our country. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Pray for your community Jesus. as well. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Lord, we lift up our pastors before you. We lift up the bishops. We lift up the, the leaders. We lift up the evangelists, the missionaries, the pastors, the, the, the ushers. Father God Almighty, Lord Jesus, those that are in charge of overseers, Lord God, we lift them up before your right of God Almighty. And we plead that the Lord of Jesus Christ of Nazareth come and about them upon them now. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, cover them under your blood right now, God Almighty. Father, let there be no lack. Father, God Almighty, let there be no lack. No need to go accident, no witchcraft. Father, God, no negative words spoken over their life. But Father, God, I pray God that you will strengthen them, hide them in your bosom. Let there be no lack where the enemy is. In the mighty name of Jesus, cast our God, cast the minister to expand in the mighty name of Jesus. Let the miracle signs and wonder follow after that miracle in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, send forth a destiny elders, kingdom builders to come and build for the kingdom of God in the mighty name of Jesus. Send forth seed was to sow seed in the kingdom of God in the name of Jesus. Father, Lord, we pray that our pastors or missionaries or deacons or evangelists or prophet or prophetess. Father God Almighty, Lord Jesus, they are, they, 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 oh, glory be to God, that they, they, that's oh, mighty God, all the leaders, Father God, build them up, strengthen them, guide them, oh God, put a fire of protection round and about them, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, my God, I pray, God, that you will cause them to excel, let the power, the fire of the anointing of your Holy Ghost come alive in them in a fresh new way, fresh anointed, fresh power, fresh grace, fresh revelation, blow upon them, connect them, Father God, to the throne of Hallelujah, heaven, let power pass power upon their lives in the mighty name of Jesus, Father. Whatever they decree and declare, it shall come to pass in the name Jesus, of Jesus. And every prophecy that they prophesy, it shall come to pass in the mighty name of Jesus, Father. We pray, God, Jesus. that when they touch anywhere, oh God, the mighty name of Jesus, there shall be a manifestation of breakthrough, deliverance, signs, Jesus and wonder. Name. Even their very shadow shall heal the sick. Oh God Almighty, those that Hallelujah, are in sin Jesus. and out of their mind, when they pass them, they shall come back in alignment in the mighty oh, name Jesus. of Jesus. Father oh, God, Jesus. let your power that raised Jesus from the dead be in our leaders. Oh God Almighty, yeah. the bishops, Hallelujah. the pastors. Oh God Almighty, Lord, sanctify them and by power them, mighty God. Empower them. Hallelujah, Jesus. And higher heights and deeper depths in you, God. Lord God Almighty, Lord, we pray. Divine power, oh God Almighty, shall rest and abide in them. And Father, Lord, we pray, God, that they will be having heart for the people. 
and they will mm -hmm. continue to do that which they are to do. Evil, Lord God Almighty, when the people give them trouble, let them have a heart for the people, to love the people, oh God, to do great things for the people, mighty God, to do Hallelujah, what Jesus, Jesus will do for the people, regardless Amen. of their actions, they, that they will have patience, oh God Almighty, patience shall be upon them, oh glory Amen. be to God, that they will continue to do their works without no malice, without no interference of flesh, but the anointing and the power of God shall continue to flow through them. Father God Almighty, those that are weakened in the spirit, Lord, build them up back again in the mighty name of Jesus. Build them up again in the name of Jesus. Let them be revived every Hallelujah, morning. Jesus. Hallelujah. Every time they take their foot off the bed and hit the ground, let the anointing of the power revive them again. Let them Hallelujah. be a of the anointing and power Shakush to resurrect in them, uh, to rip them up back again, uh, to open eyes, oh God, who open up their eyes again, uh, to see God Almighty and their years again, uh, to hear God uh, in the name of Jesus and Father when they lay those hands, uh, let the power of the anointing of the Holy Ghost uh, run Hallelujah. through those days. Uh, God Almighty and do great and mighty works in Jesus' mighty name. Father, I God Almighty, we are praying, oh God, that they come back to the place, oh God, where your, their first was at the cross of Hallelujah, Jesus Christ Jesus. of Nazareth. Father, God Almighty, I pray that they will walk circumspect in your glory and in your love, in the mighty name of Jesus. And we lift up the leaders of the land, the prime ministers, hallelujah, the glory be to God, the head of government. Oh, Father, we lift them up, the dictators, we lift them up before your right, oh God. And Father, we pray, God, that they will make wise decisions, wise counsel, that they will take wise counsel from the Lord. Father, we pray, oh God, Lord, that they will do what is right, oh God Almighty, in the sight of God, towards the people of God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, let them be, Lord God Almighty, that they make right decisions be a blessing, so that your people shall be blessed in the land of God living oh. in the mighty name of Jesus, Jesus. 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 that they will not go to the underworld as so father oh. God Almighty in the chambers of the prime minister Status. Father, we pray that your divine anointing of your Holy Spirit shall visit that chamber and the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth shall drip in the foreign corner of that office right now. Oh God, and separate that Jesus. right now, the chair that they sit on in the mighty name of Jesus. So when they sit on the chair, they sit in the blood of Jesus. And when they put their hands on the deck, they put it in the blood of Jesus. Father, God Almighty, we equip the computers that they are using with the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth right now in the mighty name of Jesus Father God we pray that your anointing and your power shall go forth in the heads of government that they shall do right by your people that they shall make a blessing for your people who are force for your people and the love of God shall flow in the land of the living Lord of our community Cover it under yes, your power. Father, Father God, let there be no last. Let there be no shortcomings. Let there be no hatred. But let there be love. Let there be peace. Let there be no stealing. Let there be no envy. Lord, we shall be our brother's name, our neighbor's keeper. Father, cover our neighbor under the blood. Cover them under your blood. Father, Father, we are God Almighty in our community. That Father God, no shall go up before that time. In the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, Let the Father, of God, God go through it right oh, now. Oh, blood of Jesus, wash, Jesus wash, 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 London, wash, wash, London, wash, London, wash, 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 as Lord, Lord of Jesus, Almighty God, Lord, 
Help the youth, help the youth, help the youth of this nation, my Lord Jesus. Hallelujah, glory to God. Hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, I'm just going to do the covering prayer right now. Hallelujah, glory be to God. Hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, we cover Sister Shireen, Sister Lisa, Sister Athena, Sister Sandra, myself, this is Mary, Brother Jaden, Sister Tara, Brother Lincoln, Sister Grace, Sister Rebecca, Sister Petrina, Sister Anna, Facebook world, those out there on Facebook in the background, we cover you under the blood of Jesus. The, the repeat watchers, we cover you under the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Lord God, we pray right now, God, that you send forth your anointing of your Holy Spirit to locate each and every one of us, our home, Sister Eden. Oh, God Almighty, send forth your anointing of your Holy Spirit at your home right now, Lord God. Let there be a divine Amen. presentation. Bless them in every area of their life anything that they desire of you god almighty i pray god that you will intervene that you will make it right in the mighty name of jesus father watch over them watch over their business their ideas that you have given unto them father god the open doors father god their finance almighty god their place of work cover it under your blood father lord we pray god in the mighty name of jesus for those that are studying lord i pray in the name of jesus that lord you will touch their mind that it will not go weary not go dim but remember that which they need to do let it become easy for them lord god almighty to do their work almighty god we pray every assignment that they get that they will accomplish complete it in record time in the mighty name of jesus and lord god almighty i pray god that father god almighty that the peace of god will be in their home lord god almighty i thank you for what you're about to do Oh, God Almighty, exceedingly above all that we can ever ask or think. And Lord, we tell you thanks. Mighty God, the Lord says to tell you, I love you all. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. He says, I love you all. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Thank you. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Rest assured, I love you all. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And we're just going to turn over right now to Sister Shireen to do the closing prayer. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Thank you. Jesus. Me, sir, Sister Sophie, may the good Lord strengthen you. I can see yeah. it. if I was brave, I could pray for you, but I am. I accept God every day for boldness, but God bless you and empower Amen. you and strengthen you, Sister Sophie. Amen. Glory be to God. <laughs> Amen. Yes, Heavenly Father, we just thank you for this opportunity once again, Father. Lord, we thank you for everything that you've done on this platform tonight. Father, we thank you for everyone that has had the opportunity to join tonight, to listen to your word, Father. Lord, I pray, Lord God, that you've imparted something onto them tonight father god that they will their lives will never be the same again lord that they'll be transformed by the words that they've heard father lord we thank you for everything that you're doing in our midst father we thank you for your great love for us father that even whilst we were sinners, Father, you died for us, Lord God. We just want to thank you. We appreciate you, Lord. Father, we pray that your presence would continue to be with us, Father. Lord, we pray that you touch your servant. Lord God, we thank you for our life, Father. We thank you, Father God, that you have chosen her, Father, for a time as this, Father, to show forth your glory. Lord God, to, to many generations, Father. We thank you for the generational things, Father, that you are doing through her, Father God. We thank you, Lord God, that your hand um, has been outstretched 
towards her and towards her family, Father. We thank you for the newness, Lord God, um, that you're doing, the new things that you're doing, Father God, on this platform. We thank you for the restorations, Father, for the healings, for the deliverances, Father God, for the lives that are being transformed, Lord, according to your glory and according to your divine will and your purpose for us, Lord God. Lord, as we are about to go, Lord, we pray that your presence would go with us. Your anointing would be with us, Father. You would release your angels even into our homes and into our workplaces, Father, and everywhere that we will go, Father. Let your angels encamp around us, Lord God. Father, we pray that you would be our defense, Father. We pray that you'd barricade us, Lord, with the blood of Jesus, Father. We pray that you'd hide us under the shadow of the almighty we pray that you'd hide us in your secret place lord god we pray lord god that you'd release um, visions, your visions to us, Father God. You'd open our eyes even to see into the spiritual realm, Father, um, the great things that you're doing, Lord God, and that which you're calling us to. Um, as I can think of this song writer that says that uh, you're calling us deeper. Father, may we go with you into that depth um, of your richness and your glory, Father. May we find value in, in, in serving you and, and in doing your will, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. May it not just be lip service, Father, but Lord, truly give us a heart that will serve and honor you, Father, to the fullest of our abilities, Father. Father, the scripture says, Christ in me, the hope of glory. Yes, Lord, continue to transform us. Continue to pull us deep, deeper into your knowledge, deeper into the understanding standing and the revelations in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, Lord, we thank you. Father, anoint the head of every person that will listen, that, that will hear these words, Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Anoint our hearts and our hands and our feet even to chase after you, Lord God. Lord, we pray that our lives will never be the same, Lord God. Mm -hmm. Take us from glory to glory, from victory to victory. Yes, Lord, give us, give us the peace of God, Father, that, that passes all understanding. Give us a settled peace in you, Father. Lord, we pray that you'd restore the years, Father, that the locust and the canker worm has eaten up in our lives, Father God. Mighty God, repair every breach, Father. Yes, Lord, pull down every wall of contention, Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, Lord, erect your banner yes lord in our lives in the mighty name of jesus father we just honor you we glorify you lord we thank you that you have chosen us lord from the foundations of the earth to show forth your glory and your honor, Lord God, in the mighty name of Jesus. The scripture says that we have not chosen you. You have chosen us. You know us by name. You know our, our uprising and our down sitting. Nothing, Father, concerning us is hidden from, from your eyes, Father. The scripture says that your eyes go throughout the earth, Father God. We yeah. thank you that your eyes are on us. We thank you that we are the apple of your eyes father one scripture said that you would give nations for us oh god we thank you for your love yes lord we honor you for that great love that caused you to lay down your life for us father we appreciate you father yes lord we thank Thank you. We glorify you, Lord. We glorify you, Lord. We glorify you. We 
thank you, Lord. We thank you that we are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, Lord God. We thank you that we are unique. We are special, mighty God. We thank you, Father God. We pray that you'd remove the veil from us, Father, that causes us to see ourselves less than. Oh, my God. Father, we pray that you'd remove the scales from our eyes, Father, so that we would truly see ourselves, Father, the way you see us, Father God, as the apple of your eye, a, a, a unique, mighty God, blessed, treasured, mighty God. Yes, Lord. Yes, we thank you, Lord. We thank you. We glorify you, Lord, and we honor you for everything that you're doing in us. Eyes have not seen, ears have not heard, neither has it entered into the hearts of man what God has in store for us. And for that we say thanks, Lord. For that we say thanks. We thank you even for the testimonies of your people as to what you're doing even in the lives of their children, Father God. And we pray, Lord God, that you continue to do even more, Father. We thank you that our children will draw close Closer to you, Father God. They will not run away from you, Lord, but they'll draw closer to you in the mighty name of Jesus as you call them deeper into your presence. As Father God, your plan is to change the generations, Father God, because your word says that the people that know their God shall do exploits, Lord God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Cover us under the blood of Jesus as we go our separate ways. Cover us. Surround us with a hedge of protection that the enemy cannot penetrate in any way, Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Hide us, Lord. Hide us. Protect us. Yes, Lord. Fight for us. Defend us on every side, Lord God. Whatever the battle is that your people are fighting, Lord, we invite you into the center of that tonight, Lord God. We invite you into the center of it, Father God, to show forth yourself victorious, to show forth yourself as the living, the true and the living God, mighty God. We call upon Daniel's God tonight to deliver, to set free, to break the yokes, to cleanse, mighty God, your people, to remove the debris, to remove the hindrances and the blockages, Father God, that prevents your people from truly serving you and from truly reaching their full potentials in you father god yes lord let there be a clearance let there be victories in the lives of your people lord god <laughs> hallelujah thank you jesus thank you lord thank you we just want to tell you thanks lord thank you lord thank you thank you May your people reach milestones, Father God, that no one in their bloodlines have reached, Father God. May your people reach milestones that will even shock them, Father God, because they wouldn't have expected it, because they hadn't seen themselves in that light, yeah. Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, Lord, remove the generational Yes. barriers and the glass ceilings father god and even the curses that has been spoken over your people that has prevented them from reaching their full potentials lord god hallelujah bring about real tangible change father measurable change and transformation father god in the lives of your people in the mighty name of jesus and father we just glorify you and we honor you and we tell you thanks thank you jesus mighty god we thank you we thank you thank you who is like unto you lord who is like unto you? There's none like you, Lord. None, none, none. None like you, Father. We could search throughout eternity, as the songwriter says, and there'll be none like you. You're extraordinary. You're the unchangeable God, mighty God. Your word tells me that you change it not. You're the same yesterday, today, and forever, Lord God. Mighty God, thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. 
we thank you, God. You are the divine God who will divinely intervene in the lives of your people. Thank you, Lord. We thank you. We thank you, Lord. We thank you. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to your name, Jesus. Glory to your name, Jesus. Glory to your name, Jesus. Yes, we thank you for the generational barriers that are being broken yes, down Lord. over the lives of your people. Yes, Lord, we thank you that you're breaking the generational curses. You're releasing your people out of captivity, Father God. Like the children of Israel, Father, we thank you, Lord God, that you're releasing in your yes, people. Lord. You're breaking the prison bars, Father God, mighty God, and you're bringing about change. We thank you, Lord. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you. We, thank you. we honor you, Lord. We honor you. Hallelujah. You're a God of justice. You are a God of justice. You're a just God. Father, and I just see you saying that enough is enough, Lord God. We thank you, Lord. We thank you for stepping in as the lion of the tribe of Judah into the situations of your people tonight. And we say, reign, Jesus, reign. We say, reign, Jesus, reign. Reign, Jesus, reign. Reign, Jesus, reign. Reign. Rain, Jesus, rain, rain in the light. Rain, Jesus, rain, rain, rain over your people, Lord. Rain over your people. Yes, Lord, set new precedences, Father God, over your people in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, Lord, rain. King of the lion, Judas, lion. Rain, Lord, rain. Rain, rain like never before. Let the heavens open over your people, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Yes. Yes, Lord. Speak to every darkness, mm. every dark situation, Father God, that has reigned over the lives mm. of your people in the mighty name of Jesus. Mm. Hallelujah. Thank you. Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Father, we look forward to the testimonies, Lord God. We look forward to the testimonies, Lord God. We look forward to the testimonies, Lord God. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Mm. In oh, Jesus glory. Name. Mm. Hallelujah. Ah. My Yes, Lord, not by might, not by power, but by your spirit, Lord, by your spirit, by your spirit. Spirit, Lord, ketu kapali ke pine ke teke lebe sike te. Ika malaka sike mele ke sike teke mele ke se. Yana masike ntu ke lebe sike te. Ita kala ya seke tu madush ke lebe sike. Ente se kutulu voshia. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Mm. Lord, we thank you that you're calling us into your rest. Mm. <laughs> into your peace. Yes, Lord, carry your people. Carry your people, Lord. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen.
Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, glory. Hallelujah to you, Lord Jesus. Amen. Jesus. Hey. Yeah. Um, I just sense that the Lord is giving us rest, peace. Hallelujah, Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Father. Oh, glory. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Jesus. Hmm. Thank God. We are just going to be a big change. Hallelujah. What she says, the economy is going to change. Mm -hmm. some of us and we're going to have peace hallelujah it's going to change I, hallelujah. I praise your yeah. name i thank you god hallelujah i also hear that there's going to be a retreat of our enemy our enemy hallelujah. is going to be on the retreat where they're gonna you know they're gonna withdraw they're gonna run away Hallelujah. I also get that there is going to be, there will be a catapulting. A catapulting, that means people is going to shoot into a higher dimension. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. It's going to be in a high, shoot in a higher dimension. Amen. Glory be to God. You're going to be lifted higher. Amen. Glory Amen. be to God. Amen. Glory be to God. There's going to be a, a change, a change, a change. And just continue. So much is going to happen. There's going to be a manifestation of so much blessing, abundance of blessing, a mighty abundance of blessing, a mighty rain blessing is going to come. Amen. You're going to experience some new things. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Just continue to worship him, continue to praise him, continue to be in his presence. Amen. Amen. He's going to do a new thing Amen. in our lives. Amen. In our community, in our family, in our ministry. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Even in your individual lives, you're going to experience a newness of God. Amen. Amen. And our beloved sister says we're going to have rest. That means peace is here. Amen. Amen. That it doesn't matter how rugged it looks on the outside, you will have peace. Amen. Amen. So rest Amen. in his arms. Rest in his arms. Rest in his arms. Pray more to him. Spend more time in his words. Amen. Read the word of God. Stay in his presence. Amen. Lift him up. Hallelujah. Lift him up and he will draw closer to you. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. At this point, I'm going to say thank you all, Facebook, for being here with us another week. Thank you for being here at the Kingdom Mandate of Jesus Christ Ministry, the house where God lives. And we see you all again next week. So we we'll do it all over again. Amen. So see you all again next week, next week at the kingdom mandate of Jesus Christ ministry right here on Facebook. See you all. God bless you. Amen. Amen. Glory be to God.